Hello, welcome to Escape the Box Piano, it's Dan here. As today is the UK release date of Deadpool 2, I thought it would be fun to do Celine Dion's Ashes. This is a pretty straightforward piece to play, um, it's very slow to start with, and fundamentally there are only about three short sections to learn and then there's a lot of repetition within the piece. So let's get stuck straight in. First of all, here's how the introduction is going to sound. Let's tear that down hand separately. Here's middle C, we'll look at the right hand first. Okay, we're going to put our thumb on G and fifth finger on E flat up here. Play that twice. Then move down to F and D. That gets played twice. Now C and A flat, twice. Now lift your hand up and move it down so that your fifth finger is on G, third finger is on E flat. Play that once. Then D and F. Again, we're going to pick our hand up and move it so that our thumb is on G, fifth finger is on E flat. Play that twice. F and D twice. And then you're going to hold down A flat and C for four counts. One, two, three, four. In the left hand, thumb on middle C itself. Hold it down for two counts. One, two. B flat. A flat. Now lift your hand up and move it so that your thumb is on E flat down here. Play E flat and then D. C for two counts. B flat. And then A flat for four counts. Put that hands together. The tempo of this piece is 56 beats per minute, and you can add a little bit more dreaminess to the uh, style by adding a bit of sustain pedal to your performance. So let's stick a metronome on at 56. Two, three, four. Okay, so that is the introduction dealt with. The good news is that you have effectively also just learned the first half of the first verse. You repeat effectively what we've just learnt, you play it twice, and it's only the end that's altered slightly. Let's have a look at what it sounds like. played again. So let's look at where the changes were. First of all, there was nothing different in the left hand. That's exactly as you learnt it in the introduction. Let's go through the right hand. So the first two measures or bars are identical. Okay, in the third measure we still go down to a G and an E flat, play that twice. And then we still go down to the F and D. We play that once this time. And now the second chord we're going to play is F, B flat, and C. And then we've got our A flat and C, but instead of holding it down for four counts, we're going to play that chord for one count. Let go of it, play E flat by itself once, and then C twice. So those last two measures.
metronome at 56. Two, three, four. Okay, so you've played that twice round. Let's take a listen to the second half of the verse. And then the next thing that happens is we go into the chorus. So let's break this down, hands separately. First of all, the right hand, here's middle C again. We're gonna start with uh, A flat and C, and we're going to alternate that onto the D. We'll do that twice. And then move up so that we're on C and E flat, and we're going to alternate that to the F. Again, it happens twice. Then we're going to play E flat and F, go up to the G, back to the E flat and F, now just the E flat by itself. Now move your hand down, fifth finger on the C and third finger on A flat, and we're going to alternate that chord with E flat at the bottom here, play that twice. Okay, the next measure, Back to the A flat and C, alternating with the D twice. C and E flat, alternating with the F twice. And then the final measure, chord of B flat major effectively, so B flat, D, F. And then just play the B flat by itself. Play those three notes again, but with a B flat up, up on top as well. Play that chord twice. And now B flat, E flat, and G. Meanwhile, in the left hand, here's middle C. We're going to go down to middle, uh, not middle C, the C below middle C. Uh, go below that to A flat. Get your thumb on that and put your fifth finger on the octave below that. We're going to hold that down for two counts. One, two. Up to the C. Up to E flat down to A flat, now down to F, up to C, B flat three times, and then G. Let's put that hands together very slowly. Let's move on into the chorus. This is what it sounds like.
So good news, that's pretty easy. If you're observant, you'll have noticed it's effectively one two measure pattern repeated four times with just a hold at the end. Let's take a look. So hands separately, here is middle C and we are going to put our thumb on E flat, then A flat and C. Play that chord. Move up to A flat, C, E flat. Now B flat, E flat, F. Move down, E flat, G, B flat. Now G, C, E flat. Play that again. Now F, B flat, D, F. And then just F, B flat and D. That goes around four times. Uh, the fourth time, instead of just playing uh, that chord at the end, you just hold down the F, B flat, D and F for two counts. In the left hand, from middle C, down an octave, down to A flat, and fifth finger on the octave below that. It's A flat twice. Then E flat twice. C twice. Then B flat. And then G. So it's that pattern repeated four times. At the end of the fourth time, instead of going down to the G here, you simply hold on to the B flat for two counts. Hands together, slowly. goes around for four times. Let's just play that fourth time. So we move into the second verse, and the second verse is a uh, repeat of the first verse in many ways. You play the first half of it, uh, and you only actually play half of that, and you play it an octave lower down. So where we had... We're actually going to start uh, around middle C, so it's actually going to be played down here, just one time round. Just so that this tutorial is bulletproof, let's go through this hand separately. So uh, here's middle C, uh, thumb on G, fifth finger on the right, uh, blah, 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 fifth finger on E flat above it, play that chord twice, then F and D twice, A flat and C twice, E flat, G, D and F, pop back up to G and E flat, F and D, F, B flat and C, A flat and C, E flat, C twice. In the left hand, so from middle C an octave below, C for two counts. B flat, A flat, E flat, D, pop back up to the C, two counts. B flat, A flat for four counts. Okay, the second half of the second verse is identical to the second half of the first verse. Let's play it quickly through again. And then the chorus, the second chorus is identical to the first chorus. And so on, four times round. 
Finally, the ending after you come out of the second chorus. So you can see that ending was basically identical to the introduction. It's a simplified version, you just don't play the chords twice, you hold them for two counts instead. The G and the E flat. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then hold to fade. Left hand was identical as well. C, B flat. A flat, E flat D, C, B flat, A flat to fade. Well, I hope you found this tutorial useful. If you have, do uh, leave a like, leave some comments. What would you like to see transcribed next? Take a look for my Synthesia playthrough of this piece, which I'm going to post as well. And I look forward to seeing you next time.